Google Meet is a video calling service that used to be exclusive to G Suite users. This platform has now been made available to everyone for free. Yay! So here are some tips and tricks which will make you a pro in Google Meet meetings. Let's begin. One of the best parts of Google Meet is that you can start a new meeting with one click. You can access Google Meet in two ways. You can start a meeting directly from your Gmail account, as you can see on the left-hand side bar, or you can go to meet.google.com and once there, anyone with a Gmail account can start a new meeting easily on the browser without downloading any app. Google Meet is the only service that can add live captions to meetings so that you can understand better. This can be enabled and disabled when you are in a meeting on the meeting controls toolbar where it says turn on captions. This is a nice feature that can help you understand a person better if the connection is weak and you can't hear them properly. Hello everybody, this is a video about Google Meet tips and tricks and as you can see I have turned on my captions and what I'm saying is being transcribed word for word. So if you have trouble hearing a person in the meeting, then this is the way to go. And you can see how accurate this is as well. I'm really, really impressed. Live chat is again a nice feature to help you send messages during the live meeting. If you're not able to understand a person in the meeting, then you can send messages in live chat using this feature. But you cannot send or receive documents or files, which is kind of a bummer, and Google should add this feature in the future, hopefully. To access live chat, click on this icon on the top right hand corner. Then down here, you can type your message and then click enter on your keyboard to send. And if you want to exit out, click outside the box. If you want to present any presentation from your laptop or desktop, then you can do that too with Google Meet. This feature lets you project your desktop screen to the live meeting instead of your camera feed. You can choose to share your entire screen or just a window that you want to share. The downside, however, with this feature is that it is very limited compared to Zoom. There are no features like having the possibility to share a whiteboard or your iPhone and iPad like you have in Zoom. But if you're using this for personal use, then I think it will suffice. You can access the Present Now feature on the bottom right hand side next to Captions. Google Meet brings all the attachments from your Google Calendar right to the forefront. Up here on the right hand corner, there is an item called Attachments. Now what will happen is that a lot of meetings are set up in a meeting invitation. For example, you could ask someone to join a meeting at 5 p.m. and there might be an attachment saying we're going to review this document or spreadsheet. So any attachments from your Google Calendar will show up here. So Google brings all the attachments from your Google Calendar right to the forefront when it is shown here in the meeting. So that is really neat in Google Meet. Google Meet comes with a layout feature that lets you customize the chat windows layout according to you. There are three different layouts to choose from. By default, the auto mode is selected. You can choose from the sidebar, spotlight and tiled layout for your meetings. You can access the layout feature by clicking on dot 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 on the bottom right hand side, then click on change layout, choose the layout that you want and that's it. Google Meet also gives you the opportunity to set up a Google Meet session from your calendar. You can access Google Calendar by clicking on the app icon on the top right hand corner when you are at Google search and select calendar. You can set this to month and if I click on a specific date on the calendar, I can add the title and time. I can invite some guests on here and as I'm setting up the meeting, 
there is now an integrated option which says add Google Meet video conferencing. It also includes a meeting URL as you can see here. So I'm going to save and when I click into the calendar event, I can now join or start a meeting. So it makes Google Meet part of my calendar invitation, which is pretty neat when I send that out to people. So Google Meet has done a nice job integrating Google Meet into their other products. So here are some handy shortcut keys for Google Meet. The shortcut keys are nearly identical for Windows and Mac computers, except control key, which is the command key on Mac. So control and E enables or disables the camera depending on its current status. And control and D mutes or unmutes the microphone depending on its current status. For a full list of shortcut keys, please see the description box. Google Meet is available everywhere and you can create or join meetings from any device you have access to. You can start meetings using your laptop by going to the Google Meet website. You can also use Google Meet on your iPhone, iPad and Android phone. So just to wrap up, although Google Meet doesn't have as many features as Zoom video conferencing, I believe the best part about it is that you can easily video conference with anyone at any time. There is no downloaded app that is needed, no tricky passwords needed, and no security issues. So let me know in the comments your favorite tips for using Google Meet. If you found this video helpful, please like it so that it can be shared with more people. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.